Hey, how's it going? Today, we're finishing our base build. So I did quite a bit of stuff between the last video and this one, just like usual. Is that a ladybug out there? Please, that's a ladybug. It is, I can see it right there. Let's say, please, let's not start this video off <laughs> with the wolf spider. But, got quite a bit of stuff done. So we have our little bit of storage in here. I just started placing a couple things in here, just to kind of clean it up from out here. The baseball is totally dismantled. Everything's off of it. Got all the resources we're gonna keep. Most of the grass I kind of left over there just because grass is so easy to come by. But, we've got some issues, man. So, first of all, I went ahead and walled this off right here. Just to make it a little bit more safe. Did the same thing over here. Just put some of these up. It just goes right to the edge there. Works out fairly well. So, we got attacked, man. I did not know that the ants will come for you. So, I was over there getting rid of stuff on the baseball. And all of a sudden, some music played. A pop-up came up and said that the ants are coming to get payback or something. They started destroying stuff. They destroyed the stone here. They destroyed the stone there, part of my walls that were here, and over there at the baseball. They were trying to attack me over there. So I don't know, man. That is totally new for today, though. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and get stuff set up. So what I want to do is down here, we're going to be doing some of our normal stuff, right? We'll put our trophies down here, put our stuff up on the walls, put some of our berry leather chairs, stuff like that. Kind of make it look nice. Up here is going to be our workshop. So we'll set all our stuff up here. We'll have our storage. We'll have our workbenches. I'm thinking about going ahead and taking rid of this, or taking out this, and we'll set up a small little deck out there. Hey, woman, the ladybugs. I'm just, I'm, I'm paranoid, me. I'm paranoid about the spiders. But we'll probably do that maybe just on that one side there. It'll also add something to the side of the building. So I'm not exactly sure what all we need to do for storage. I think we can stack these. I don't know for sure, man. Let's grab a couple of them. Oh, yeah, I did some harvesting, too. So I got a lot of our stuff already stocked back up. We've got a lot of our shells and stuff that we got from the acorn pieces. I did get a ton of the berries. I went over to the hedge, stocked up on that, grabbed some of these on the way back. So we're kind of, we're doing good, man. We're doing good. I did quite a bit. That way we can hopefully just go ahead and build and get somewhat finished in this video. Oh yeah, and I found this. So it's a compliance badge. We need to read to see what that's all about. It just says it's a badge from uh, scientists granting access to their specific department of work. So I'm not exactly sure where. The one we need for down in the water was the assistant manager's card, I believe. So this isn't that one. That might lead to it. Now, I know there's some doors locked up over at the hedge. That's kind of where I found this at, was in the back corner whenever I was getting the berry leather and stuff, or the berry chunks. It was back by the cassette tape. So that might lead to one of the hedge areas. We, we are going to there soon, too, so. And I did get a weevil shield made. That's for later, though. Let's leave all that there. All right, so let's grab some of these. See if we can stack them. If not, I want to see about possibly putting a little half wall in, if we can, and stack them that way on top. I would just like to have more than one taking up a whole wall. So let's do them this way. We'll do one there, and we'll do one of this part, one of this part. That way they're kind of spaced out. I'm not a fan of these spiral stairs. They look fantastic. However, they are a pain to run up and down all the time. All right, can we stack you? We cannot. We cannot put you up top either, so let's try- wait. Snap to grid. Interesting. That's a total waste of space, but is what it is. Let's leave that there for the moment. Let's try something. Craft. I'm gonna go to the building parts. I'm thinking the half floor, right? So if we do this like this, Let's build you. Let's take you. We'll turn you this way. Then we can actually set two of them. Let's set it out towards the edge. That way we can reach it. Can we put you up top? Oh, we can! Fantastic! So that... Okay, look, look. Go straight, man. Go straight. That is going to be perfect. Let's get you right towards the edge. I do not want to have problems reaching you. It's not. I can always set these up a lot better later. It'll probably be something I'll do off camera, but... That'll work out for doubling up our storage. Can we do it from this direction? We can. It's a little bit easier to do it like that. Nice, man. Nice. So we can have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. That'd be 12. I think we have 5 right now. And then we could possibly do one more up top, I think. Let's, let's do some science, man. Do a little bit of testing while we're here. That one would go there, and then we put stuff up there that we don't normally use. All right, let's grab one more. We got plenty to do testing with. Like I said, everything of ours is over here now. And then we'll go ahead and move the 
workstations inside as well. I need to check our leather since I took a nap. I'm trying to not build it in the workbench just because we lose so much. This might be a pain to do because of our height, right? We might need some stairs. I might still do that, just not do it right now. Let's go ahead and just set this here for now so we can do some work in here. Ah, it's going to work out nice. Yeah, I think if I make some some stairs for, like, some scaffolding. Stairs are at the bottom. I am starting to learn that. Let's do this, just so that we can be sure that we can reach it. That's going to be expensive to do because we only get some of the stuff back. Oh, we were missing a grass plank. I got a whole pallet of them over there still, I think. I don't think I got rid of them. And I need to see about putting a door in right here. We'll probably end up doing that as well. And I didn't realize this is only half a door. There's actually a second half you could put on here. Well, if we did it over here, it would open up too wide. I might do that. It kind of looks cool, man, having the two wide ones. Let's grab a couple more pieces of grass. But this will allow me, whenever I'm out doing stuff, to actually keep all of my resources instead of just grabbing some and then trashing the rest. I hate doing that, man. I hate trashing... Oh, it's just our stems. I hate trashing stuff instead of just keeping it. That'll be good for now. Let's take up another one of these, too. Seems how we're going up there. It was such a long run from over there to here. I know it's not that far, but when you're carrying stuff one at a time and dragging it all the way... Oh, dude. That was never going to end. I trashed all of our... Lights, right? We've got to make some more of those. Just because I was not about to come all the way over here with those. All right, easy, easy. Perfect. Now, can we reach them? Okay, so that's going to be the bug parts. Oh, dude, this is what we're doing. This is 100% what we're doing, man. So that'll be 3, 6, 9, 12, 50. That'd be 18 storage. That should be plenty. I'll tell you what, give me a minute. I want to get this sorted out. How many more are we going to need? One, two, three, four. I think we have five. If I remember right, we should have one more. Maybe it was just four. I think so, because like I said, everything's over here. Let's go ahead and get some water. And then how is our canteen? Our canteen is full. And I've been still... <laughs> I've still been working here, man, trying to get stuff going. Or not going, but still crafting up while I've been busy. Take all you. Are we out of... We're at a range for the rope. All right, let me get this uh, store sorted out with the storage. Are we sure we don't have one more? And I'll just make some more, man. I have to make quite a few. We might not have enough parts to make the rest. We'll have to see. Nice, man. Nice. So there is storage. That's what we'll have from now on. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and finish building all of them right now because we will be out of parts. I want to save some stuff for our building for today. But that's not bad, man. That's not bad at all. Let's drop this stuff back down here. We'll grab our workbench, bring it up. And something I want to check on, I want to see if we can actually build a bed. Instead of having our lean-to, I think it'll look a lot better if we can. Now, for the bed, I'm not too sure if we want to build an actual, like, little bedroom. Like, walled off. Or... Put it in there, man. Put it in there. Or if we actually want to just... Put it in there. I don't know. Let's see. What do we got? Workbench is in here. Let's move you upstairs first. Clear some room. And I think for the bed, we'll put it right there in the middle. Maybe we can do some half walls around the sides. So let's put this... Right here. And that's sorted out there. Ah, oh, dude, that looks so nice, man. Oh, it's so nice. I'm worried about that sticking out, though. I don't know if it is. We won't be able to see it regardless. But I think it'll be fine. Let's check on a bed real quick. Don't need the ladder. I need a bed. It's going to be over here, isn't it? Simple bed. So I think this helps out with... Our food and water and stuff, right? Doesn't it recharge you overnight? Oh, we're missing a couple weed stems. Let's grab some of those. We've got everything else. We've got... We're getting kind of low on the crow feather pieces. That's the only thing I'm kind of worried about. I haven't really seen anywhere else to get those. I only got one, and I did a lot of traveling, uh, like yesterday in-game, trying to get stuff done, and didn't see any. So I'm not too sure if we're just in the wrong area. Maybe it's not dropping many. I know the ladybugs sometimes don't spawn in, so maybe the bird feathers are kind of the same way. All right, leave you there. We'll chop these down. We'll grab a couple of these. Yep, I'll tell you what, man. Grab this, grab this. There we go. And that'll be enough for making that. We should be able to go ahead and build our door on the other side. We'll go ahead and just put one in. We don't have to worry about trying to keep it unblocked and stuff. Oh my gosh, that's a ton of those. We can go ahead and block it up if we need to, just so that if we have to get in for some reason, we don't have to run all the way around in case the ants come again. It's kind of, uh, kind of neat that they come for you, 
So we might have to make some of these spikes. There's some little spike things that can go on the walls. So we might actually have to make some defense. I was wondering what those are for if you're always going to be safe and stuff. It's going to kind of suck because we probably would have been safe up on the the baseball where we were. It looks weird. <laughs> so weird not having our house up there. We got a lot of the grass and stuff. They're slowly despawning. I didn't pick it up. I just let it go ahead and let it go away by itself, man. It was a ton of grass that we had on there. Got this last one here. All right, so that's good. Let's go ahead and take this back around. We will build our bed, and we'll also build our door in here. So it's not going to be used very often. Like I said, it's very rocky over here, but just some way to get in and out. Maybe we'll do it on the side over there. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's not really a priority. Let's put these... Right there. Alright, so... One bed, please. Right there in front of the window. That way you got a nice breeze blowing in all night. Nice, man. Nice. I like it. Let's go ahead and see about these... Tables that go there, too. This one. They're kind of neat, man. They're kind of neat. Not too expensive. Oh, they're actually massive, man. One there. We'll put another one right here. So how much storage do you have? I mean, that's a good little bit. It's just like one of these small ones here. So what we might do is put some stuff in there like the cassette tape. Or not the cassette tape, but that's stuff that we want to keep and not get lost in places. We will be getting rid of this as well soon as we get upstairs kind of done. Some of our armor in there too. I should probably take that back out soon. Change it back around. All right, leave that in there. I got a bunch of this junk, too. Take well, let's just, um, let's put it in here for now. Well, we have the storage upstairs. Actually, this is more, right? That's three. That's only two. That's a good bit more, man. All right, let's just put it up here. And we need to get our other items, like the smithy and all that moved up here. Let's just dump it into here. I will sort this out off camera. I need to see what to do with these, two. I think that might be used for making our... Like the little mushroom gardens and stuff like that. How's our food? Let's go ahead and eat this. Take care of that. Alright, grab the rest of our stuff, see where we want to put it, and then see what we want to do down here. I wouldn't got a lot of that berry leather because I want to build some of the other stuff that we never built before. Like this? I mean, you gotta have a berry leather, leather chair, man. It's, it's expensive. It's something you gotta have. It's super nice. Nice little reading area over here by the window. Again, the breeze. It's nice to have. Nice, man. Nice. Is there any kind of rugs and stuff? There's some tables. I like the tables. Let's do a clover one. Oh, wait. Dry grass partition. We could almost use that by the... Kind of block off the bed a little bit. Right here. That way nobody can see when you're sleeping. We go. <laughs> it's kind of neat, man. Anyways, <laughs> just little stuff. We can move it all around later. Let's put a table out. Let's put it over here. Nice, nice. It's using up some of the parts, too, that we got from stuff. Oh, there's a grandfather clock. I don't remember unlocking that. That is super expensive, man. Holy crap, dude. Let's build one. It's massive, too. Huge. We'll put you right here. You gotta know what time of day it is. I'm, I'm just saying, man. It's, it's, it's a thing. You lose track so fast. That actually looks pretty nice. I like it. Let's see about putting some stuff up on the walls, too. Not sure how much we will put up. Let's do... Oh, yeah, I killed some of the fireflies, too. I think I killed one more. Oh, we need one more to kill. Maybe we'll try to get one tonight. We do got stuff for this. Should we do the bee? We should do the stuff that's kind of hard. I don't know if I want to place all of them in here. I was thinking about doing that all around the top. Maybe we will do that. So we're going to put you right there. We'll do it one up. We can't do that one. We can do the ladybug. Now, can we put these on the side? Oh, you can. We could probably do two right there. Oh, that's going to look fantastic, man. That'll be all of our trophies up on one wall. And then we've also got, what else? You got the trophies, and then there's these stuffed ones, right? Those are expensive. Tin mite fuzz. Weevil nose. So we can make, well, let's make one of something just to see what they look like. Dude, that is so expensive, man. Pretty cool looking. A stuffed orb weaver? Oh, I do not like spiders. We are 
<laughs> Not doing one of those. Let's do a... Let's do two. Let's do a boatman. Because that's a water one. Wait a minute, did they hang? Unsupported. Wrong angle. Did that just hang from the ceiling? Let's... I'm not sure where I want to put it. Let's do it right here, I guess in the corner? I thought that would be something to go on the ground. Those actually hang up there. It's kind of neat. Speaking of that, let's get some lights before we get too much of our stuff kind of, uh... filled in. I really want to do one of these. I wonder how bright they are as a thing. So we got one, two, three, four, five. So if we put it right here... One, two, three, four, five. Yes, this is going to be the center of the room. Let's go first person. There we go. Try to get it... like that. Do we... Do we turn it on? Does it come on by itself? It becomes on by itself at night. It doesn't give me the option. Oh wait, G. Oh, there we go. Oh, interesting. We can change the color! Oh, we gotta have blue. We gotta have a shade of blue, dude. Saturation. That's gonna be how much of it. I like that. That's pretty cool. That way, if it's like, it's not bright enough, you can always change it. Let's go ahead and just do it there for now. And you got the brightness, too. Interesting! You can't really see the blue if you don't have the saturation up high. We'll do a tint of blue. And kind of like that. Cool, let's leave that for the moment. So how come we can't... We can't have it stay on all the time. Maybe it only comes on at night. See, I would like it on all the time, like right now. And there's not an option for that, is there? It's not. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see about putting up another light. We've got the sap sconces. So we got these, but they don't glow very much. So I'd, I'd rather not use those if we can help it. Oh, wait, that's the one that goes on the wall. I mean, that's definitely gonna be on the outside here. One right there. One right there. Now, do we have the option to change these two? Customize. You do! Oh, that is fantastic, dude. I'm so gonna be messing with these later on. Alright, so that's gonna be 160 on the color. And that one's not on all the time either. There we go, so that one's on. Can I just hit this one and turn it on? You can't. I don't like that. That was super expensive, I would prefer to have it on at all times, please. If possible. It's not possible though, I don't know. So this is gonna be 160 as well. I don't know, I kinda like the default, to be honest with you. Let's do factory reset on this. There we go. Leave it as that, just for right now. That looks fantastic, dude. Oh, I like it, man, I like it. So, I need to move all this stuff up top. We're gonna leave this down here, and we're gonna leave that down there. I think right where they are. I plan on putting... probably two jerky racks. Maybe one right here and one right here. The other option is to take this and put in a... Let's just do it. A door here. Pick it all up, man. Pick it up. Don't kick it around. It's expensive. I don't know if we'll get to the zip lines today. I would like to. I'm not too sure though. Curved door. Oh, we need the uh we need the big one though. But I would like to at least get our our gate set up here at base. Or not gate. I'm trying to do the gate. I would like to get our zip line set up here at base. Are we really out of everything? We can't be out of grass, man. I might be just too far away. Too far away, that's all it is. Alright, so that works there. I like that, man. I like that. Let's go ahead and put these back out here so we have them for later. They are super expensive. But it looks like they're all spawning back in. Yeah, see the one right there is... I thought that was one of the ones you couldn't tear up in the last video, but it is. But that means all the ones over here we'll be able to get soon, too. So I'll go ahead and stock up on those whenever I can. Alright. Give me a minute. Let's go ahead and actually break this down. 
We don't need those anymore, and we need to set our respawn at our bed in here. There we go. That's good there. Ah, dude, why will you not turn on, man? Is there a light switch? By chance? Am I missing something with that? A silly mounted light. It harnesses the mystical bioluminescence of the firefly. Okay. Does not say how to turn it on or off. We'll need some of the armor dummies as well. That's going to help out up top. Oh, we got wall, uh, weapon wall mounts too. All right, let me go ahead and get all the stuff moved upstairs. And I think we'll go ahead and move this over here. It'll be right by the door. And we'll do the second one right here. I almost recycled that. I want to move it upstairs. All right, so the light did come on by itself. But I still want to put some more down here just because it's still kind of dim. We got one more thing to move inside. And then down here is somewhat sorted out for right now. I think we'll just do one pallet of grass and one pallet of the stems right here. And that'll kind of be sorted out maybe over here in the corner. I'm not too sure yet. But there's a ton of room in. I did not realize there's going to be so much room in here. It looks kind of cool. It's kind of dim. Again, we definitely need to get some more lights set up. And then up here, I've got... These two things right here. We've got our workbench. We've got our smithy, our stove, all of our storage, and then our smoothie. We'll probably put something else right here, too. We'll have to see what other workbenches that we don't have. We might have everything. i tell you what, while we're up here, let's do a little bit on some lights. So we're going to do probably the... The wall ones, I'm thinking. What we can do is... Put them like this. Turn you on. If we do those just on the windows, that might be enough. Of course, it might not as well. We'll have to see, though. I figured I'd go ahead and show you, while it's still nighttime, what we got going on here is super hard to get this one because... <laughs> the door keeps wanting to open. I think we're kind of set, though, for this. So it's pretty lit up. It's a little bit foggy out, which is still fine, but we can still see out here. And then in here, what I did is I put a standing one there. I put a couple over here by the bed. Definitely want to see where the bed is. Wake up in the middle of the night. Don't want to step on anything. I might end up putting two more right here. I'm kind of at a sap. And then up here, I kind of did the same thing, man. I put one of these standing ones here and standing one there. So it's, it's enough light. It's not too bad. I think if all the windows had them on them, then we might be kind of set, but like I said, I'll have to get some more sap. Let's go ahead and sleep, and then we'll start working on this right here, and hopefully be able to get that kind of sorted out today. I think we might have enough stuff to kind of get it all done. Let's close all of the doors. We don't want anybody coming in for us. We'll sleep for eight hours. It should be light enough out, and then if anything, we might have to run over to the oak tree. That's kind of where we're going to set up the first zip line to. So if we have time, we'll run over there and try to set up the anchor point for that side. Yeah, see, it's plenty bright enough, man. Plenty bright enough. And I want to get all these guys put up along the tops. I'm not too sure about these guys. Maybe I'll take the ones that I really, really like and hang them from the ceilings. We don't have any food. I totally forgot to get food and to hang up some berry leather because it resets at night, right? Try to find a weevil or an aphid over here. Just one will do. Normally, they're all over the place. Of course, now that we need one, there aren't going to be any. Some more sap, too. We definitely need that. I thought I had enough sap, man. I grabbed quite a bit of it before I started recording. Take all this. Might need some of that for doing the zip lines. Guys, can I borrow you for a minute? There we go. I appreciate your donation. You get your buddy, too. Don't want to leave anybody behind. Nobody's going to be left out. So that's two of those. That'll get us sorted out for right now. Let's go back. We'll cook those. We'll grab some water. We'll start building our side. I think we have our grass over here that should be enough as well. We're probably going to do just grass on the side. Grass planks? I was thinking about doing stems, but I think the little bit of green might actually look a little bit better, you know? All right, put that away. Let's go ahead and grab some water. Somebody left the door open. Well, I'll tell you what. Where is... Oh, it's right here. It's like, <laughs> where did I put the fire at? So what I might do... Is some things like the berry leather, I might actually make one little storage. Or or maybe whenever I empty that one out, that little basket, we'll put it out here and put all the berry chunks in that. That way I can just grab from it and hang them right up because you can't actually pull for that 
out of storage. It's kind of weird, man. Kind of weird. You figure you'd be able to, but you can't. All right, so there's those. It's kind of weird going up and down the stairs, man. I know, I know. We'll get it sorted out here eventually. Well, hang all you. And is our food ready, man? A guy is hungry. It is. Fantastic. Two pieces. And the clock, dude. The clock makes noise. It's kind of cool. <laughs> that might get annoying later on, but it's uh, it's kind of neat. And it actually works, too, up there. It's 9 in the morning. Always wonder what time it was sometimes. All right, so we need to start working on this. We're probably going to do it from down here, though. So let's make building parts, grass floor. We will do three of these, and that should be fine. Can I reach you? I can. We'll put up some railings. Safety first. Nice. I wish there was a clover version of that kind of stuff, right? That'd be kind of neat. And we need to put our railing back here. If I can find it. I kind of like the acorn fence. But I don't know, the sprig ones there. They just look good, man. It just kind of sucks it doesn't go all the way. There should be like a half one or a mini one. Just to kind of fix that. Or they should let it clip into it. I don't know. Something. Alright, so we're not going to put a door in there, but we are going to do a door frame. I think. I think that might look good. If we can find it. Yeah, there we go. Right, there we go. At least it's kind of, you know, finished look there. And then let's see about the ladder first before we put up our railings. We might have to move them around. I'm not sure what the ladder is. Here it is. So if we put that there. We can't. That's what I was wondering, if we'd be able to climb up. So, there is another option. We gotta make some bug rubber. Let's, um, see about the trampoline. I'm not sure what exactly it's kind of classified as. Maybe it's one of these? Bouncy web. We need one more bug rubber, okay? That's gonna go... Ooh, that thing is massive, dude! We might have to do... Actually, that'll fit. Let's destroy the ladder. Uh, recycle. Okay, a lot of stuff there. Let's just drop you guys right here for the moment. Let's set up our railings on this side before we actually make the trampoline. I don't want that, I want this. There we go. Let's do one more. Now, I know it probably won't keep us from falling off. I just want to have it for looks, right? I don't think we'll be able to build that once we get that thing put up. Do this side as well. All right, so all we're missing is one bug rubber. That might be something over here to make. That's going to be a sap and acid glands. Not a problem. Fantastic. Now we got enough stuff to build this. We can bounce right up here. Ah, dude, I like it, man. I like it. Then when we're done, we can just run off here, and we're good to go. So that works. So, <laughs> we're still not up very tall. I mean, if you think about it, though, well, I mean, if we built this over there, we would be probably up this high versus where we are now. But it's fine, man. It's fine. So what we're going to do is some scaffolding. And I think I heard or read online that you can now... Go up zip lines. I don't know if that's a thing or something we have to unlock, but that's gonna make it a lot easier if that is the case. Let's take this, and I think we're gonna just do it right here in the center. It's gonna be a ton of stems, man. We'll do three high for the moment. Oh, it's only two stems. I thought they were more expensive. The thing is, what's gonna be expensive is we need to go get some more of the sap because we're gonna do some of the bouncy, bouncy trampolines to get up. And I don't know, man. Maybe we'll just go three high. And we'll see how that goes. What I want to do is put it over there, kind of where the juice box is. And that'll go from here to over there. Make sure nothing's in the way. And then we should be able to connect it from here over to there. That's kind of towards the picnic table and stuff. There's some good stuff over there for getting the fireflies at night. Got the mosquitoes, all that kind of stuff. And we can always go from here over to 
the hedge as well, which might kind of go over here towards this corner. Well, that's a paint. We don't want to go there. We want to go further that way. We'll have to clear some stuff out, man, because you do not want to hit something while you're on the zip line. We could probably string it from here all the way over there. So up there is where the hedge is, the actual base. So that would work if we could put a platform over there. It all depends on what is in the way and how we are and how high we need to go. That's kind of the experiments we're doing today. However, we need to grab some sap because we need to make another trampoline. I don't think we have enough to do it now. Oh, we do. Let's just do two. See how high we can bounce. Where is this? So that is as high as we can go. So what we can do is not do that. So what I did last time is I put a platform out like right here on this side, and then you can put another trampoline up here so you'd land like right here on this piece of grass. Put another trampoline here, and you can bounce up three more high. We might actually end up doing that. Let's go ahead and just work on that now. Let's do a... Grass floor. We'll do two of those. And then one right here. Actually, we don't need the one right here. If that's going to clip to the side, let's go ahead and get rid of that one. So our trampoline will go from here. Up to there. We will do some railings, because safety first. I'm not sure how far we'll be able to go up and still have the storage and range. <laughs> that might be something to figure out here soon. Let's do the scaffolding again. And we're only going to go up three more. That should be plenty high, I, I think. And build these. Oh, wait, these are different directions. Oh, dude, that is going to bug me. We need to fix this. Aha, I grabbed them both. Nice. There we go. Yep, that's correct. Nice, man. Nice. Okay. Alright, one more trampoline, so we need to grab a little bit more of the bug rubber. There we go. Fall to safety. Two more of you, please. That's the last two we can make because of the sap. So it's not that big of a deal to get more sap. We just have to go all the way over to there, which we need to go anyways to be able to test this out. It was all the way at the bottom, wasn't it? It was. Fantastic. We got enough stuff. So up here, we'll just build our platform. We're going to die here. I can see it now. So what we'll do now is we will take some... of these. We'll do the middle. And we'll do like this. Oh, yeah, we're too far out of the range. Oh, dude, that kind of sucks. So let's do this. Let's, um... Not die! <laughs> it's it's going to happen, dude. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. Pick these up before they disappear. Put them in there. Ah, oh, we're almost out of grass. Give me a minute, I'm gonna get some more grass. And then we'll probably just take this whole pallet and put it on the roof up there. Just so that we can have easy access to it. We should probably do that with this too. I'll probably fill it up. Is it getting late in the day? It's one in the afternoon. It seems a lot darker than what it is. Let me fill these up and then we'll try to take them up there with us. And we should be good. I want to, on the parts that's sticking out, maybe we'll put one of the scaffoldings that's at an angle. It'll make it look better. That way it looks like it's somewhat supported, you know? It's all about looks, man. You gotta have it looking good, even though it's functional. Gotta have it looking good. Alright, get some of this meat cooking up. I've got our grass planks already up, or not our grass, but the, uh, the weed stems are already up top. Let's go ahead and take these extras. Might as well. We'll move you up top. We should be able to reach everything. It, uh, it kind of fits on the roof. We might keep that for storage. I'm just saying, man, it works out kind of well. Let's, um, take you two. Oh, wait, nothing goes to waste. And we'll leave this guy. Oh, please do not jump with these. 
You used to lose everything whenever you jump. I don't know if that's still the case. We're going to try it, though. Or maybe if it's whenever you hit the... The space bar, to, or the, the thing to use your glider that it does that. I don't know. Alright, let's drop these guys here. Finish building this. And that's kind of set. I can't remember how big the anchor is. But it used to be to where you'd have to have multiple ones of the anchors. I don't know if you still do. Where's it at? Over here. Zip line. So we're missing some clay. We do have clay. We're probably just at a reach. So if we want two to go this way, which we'll have one go over there and one go over here, we should be able to put this like right here. Let's try to angle it. Tell you, let's go first person. I think maybe like right here. Because your zip line will go that way from this side, and it'll also connect and go that way. That should be fine. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll jump down there, we'll grab a little bit of clay. We will eat, we will sleep, and then we'll head over there and set up our second anchor. We'll probably just do the one over by the oak tree first. Let's grab a little bit of clay. We should have clay. I went out and got quite a bit. We do, man. We got plenty. We got plenty. Now we're probably not going to take anything with us other than the special parts that we need. I gotta remember <laughs> how we have this set up. Alright. And that will finish that. Need to see how much line we're gonna need. So we just connect zip line. No anchor, so we can't do anything now. Let's back out of there. We gotta set the anchor up, then come back and do it this way. So what we might do, if we can come up and down it... I see, I don't know if we need to set one of these up down there, or just the end piece. We'll take the B-hook and just set up the end piece so we can at least slide over there now. Let's set up our railings if we can. Again, we might be out of reach. If so, it's not a big deal. I can build them later. Actually, one's gonna go over here. Over here, that'll go that way. Maybe we can do two at once. Maybe we can do... One right here, and that'll go towards the picnic table. I don't know if we need to run one over there. I don't know, man. We'll just do those for right now. So it is morning time. I got everything upstairs done. Now, I know I was going to say I was going to meet you over at the oak tree, but let me show you something. I started setting these up because I had to wait for my timer to be able to sleep. And well, for one thing, these are all different sizes. There's three different sizes. The large, the medium, and small. Didn't know that. Not sure what's what, but you can activate these. I'm not sure what it does. It yells, and it says that it marks a foe. I did that one on accident, scared the crap out of me because it was nighttime. I'm not too sure what that's all about, man. We'll have to see if that marks a ladybug for something. Did it again. I didn't see anything on the map, so it's not marking them on the map. So I am totally not sure what's going on with that. It's new, man. It's new. Didn't do that before. Anyways, a little bit of water. A little bit more water. We do got some food waiting for us over here, and we are heading out to set up our anchor. Eat some of you. And we're going to go ahead and eat you. Nice, so I am taking a little bit of stuff, so all we have to harvest up is some of these stems. Not a problem, we are going with our ant armor, and a little bit of the grass. Now, but I'm not going to make anything pretty over here. We good? We alright? We're going to make just a nice landing platform. There's an ant. And kind of go and see how it works out with there. And if we need to have one of the other anchors, or if we can just use the wall mount one. I think... We can just use the wall mount, seeing how we're just going to end it over here, you know? Where's the tree? We need to go the proper direction. Need to put some markers up, man, so I know where I'm going. Keep our eye out for wolf spiders. I'm just saying they are in the neighborhood. So if we set it up over here, like right here, where I was thinking, we got to worry about the spiders. We could attach it to the top of that and be somewhat safe, but that's a pain to get up to. We kind of want to make stuff to where it's easier in life, not harder. Excuse me, little dude. The further we go from the base, the more it's going to cost in the silk. But that's not the, too big of a deal. I got a ton of it over there at the the hedge, you know. And I haven't seen any ladybugs. So I don't know what that, that does whenever we, we click on the mounts. But right here is where I had one last time. Just because it's up high. It's kind of out of the way from everything, too. 
Where is... Can we even see base from here? We probably could if I knew which direction to look. I know we're over there. Over this direction. Somewhere. So we are up high enough. I don't know how high we need to go is the thing. Is that... I think that's part of our base right there. So let's do this, man. Let's grab some stems. And we're going to build it right here. Let's start staging it out. Not that. All that we're going to need is some of... The scaffolding. Let's angle it that way. That bee shadow, man. That bee is so... <laughs> so poking out. I wish I could see where our base was for sure, man. I think it's over that direction. Let's start you there. Oh, I forgot the bug rubber! We're gonna have to go back to base. Oh, I'm gonna have to go back to base. So let's get some of these. That's probably as high as we're gonna go is right there. We'll put out the grass platform. We might just put a ladder, man. If we can build a ladder, we might just do a ladder up and down. Instead of using the... All the bug rubber for that, because we, we need to get some sap too. There's one of the ladybugs. I don't see it doing anything, though, with the... Marking them. Does not have anything marked over their head or anything? I don't know. I don't want to fight one because we don't have the right armor. We'll have to see, man. I'll have to do some research and see what that's all about. Alright, look. This has been the biggest pain to try to build. So, you cannot climb a ladder while you're holding stuff. I mean, that makes sense. Not a big deal. If we would have bought the stuff for the ladder or for the bouncy thing, we could have bounced up there with all of our stuff. Instead, I've got to make scaffolding to build the scaffolding. And then, <laughs> I've also got to build this. So that I can actually build the top part, because I can't carry stuff up. It's... Ah, uh, man, it's weird. It's weird. It's my own fault, though. I think we're set to build the last part up here. So I've got it set up kind of the same way. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a wall. There's a wall. Regular wall. There we go. I'm going to try something. While we're doing this... That's a stem wall. I mean, it looks better. Let's do this one instead. Uh, we'll do this one. It kind of looks weird. Not a fan of it. The way that it's all kind of rough on the top there. But I mean, it's fine. It's fine. And then we need this. We need this. We'll attach it to where it's up high enough. And that should... allow us to go back to base, run our zip line, and it should attach right there. We can zip down, stop right here. We should be safe. We'll bring some stuff for railings after we make sure that it works. And if it works, which it should, we'll come back, we'll go ahead and get this type kind of taken care of and make it a little bit better. I will probably put our bed up there and storage as well. However, for right now, I gotta run all the way back to base. Uh, dude, it's a little bit of a run. But it's fine, man. I got some sap and I got some other parts. We might be able to finish our storage. Uh, I got a little bit of aphid meat to throw on the grill. A little bit of snack for later. Put the crossbow away. Get you going. And then let's grab a little bit of the silk. I think we're a little bit too high up to be able to reach it from down here. Now, it used to be pretty expensive to string your zip lines. I'm not even sure where stuff is, man. But it used to be super expensive. I'm guessing it probably still is. Where is? There we go. Take all of them. That'll work. But yeah, we should be able to just go up here. Attach it to the other one. Hopefully, it'll go directly to it. And then we'll have to see if there's any of the grass in the way. That's going to be the main thing that's going to cause problems if there is grass in the way. We have to cut it down. I don't know if it stays cut down. Let's do connect zip line. That's where we're going. So we need 19 of the silk. We got 74. How do we... There we go. It's connected. Build it. Nice, man. Nice. How is our storage? I'll tell you what. Let me empty some... Uh, I was going to empty some stuff out. I think we are plenty high enough to be able to clear everything. We might take that down a little bit lower. We'll have to see how fast we go. Alright, man. First zip line. We're going, we're going, we're going the wrong way, dude. Why are we going up? Why are we going this way? That's not higher than where we are. Is it? Is that really higher? That looks like it's going from here down. Oh, dude, we built that too tall. We can get back to base over here fine. <laughs> that kind of sucks. So what, what we might be able to do, seeing how that is like it is, if we can go down there, and that works for ziplining back this way, maybe we can build another one a little bit lower, 
and use that as a double without destroying this. It's kind of weird, man. It looks like that's going down. Maybe not. Maybe just the angle we're at. We have enough stuff on us to build another one of the mounts. We do. All right. I tell you what. I'm going to see you over there. We're going to set one up a little bit lower and see if that'll work. I hope it does. If so, it, it's not really a loss then, right? All right, so I got the last parts that we need. If this works, it'll be fantastic. If not, I'll delete the footage and nobody will know that it ever happened. <laughs> now we'll just have to work it out, man. It's kind of weird with the zipline sometimes. Either it goes very good or it goes very bad. But this should work out here. We're down low enough. I mean, if you look at it, you can't see the angle from this side, how it goes up to down. It's a very slow slope, I think. But that might be an issue with our speed. Let's go ahead and build this last part. Not in there. I think it's right here. At least we had enough of this stuff for two, right? And let's put you... Right there. Now the problem is we can't string this one from there. We have to do it from that to this. So that kind of sucks. I didn't think we could go that way with that one part. It kind of works out though. So if it gets to where it's too kind of cluttered at base, what we can do is change the wall mounts out and put all of those at base only and then do the big part of the zip lines at the start points, you know? But let's see how this works. Okay. Okay. We are going at the speed of a snail. <laughs> Dude, so what I'm going to do before we head back to base, I'm going to drop off right here. I'm going to take this up one more set high just so that we can have more speed, but it'll work out, man. We're definitely going to clear it all. So I will see you in the morning. We almost died there. Holy crap, my respawn is not set over here. I'll see you in the morning. I'm going to make this a little bit taller, and that should be set, man. Oh, dude, I really hope so. All right, man. We are finally back at base. It has been a very, very long couple of in-game days. But I think we have it sorted out. <laughs> I really, really hope we have it sorted out. Everything is rebuilt. Let's go ahead and bounce up here. We should be able to attach our two zip lines. So we should have two different anchor points for this now. Connect zip line. We do. We have the one up top and the one down below. So let's do this one first. They're both going to be 19. So that should be the one going. And that should be the one coming back from base. All right, let's back out of this. We've got to build both. There's that one. No, let go. I want to build the other one first, dude. Ooh, we might have to actually go over there to build the other one. Which is fine, not a problem. Yeah, it doesn't let me, it, all it wants to do is clip to the one and zip line down. Okay, cool. So this is the one coming from base. Now it might not be too fast. I built it down all the way as low as we can go. But it's going to be faster than running there, right? A little bit safer. I can always do something else while we're in transit. <laughs> but the main thing is we are up off the ground and we're not going to hit any of the grass on the way. What I might do is we'll see how we land up here. I might be able to move the anchor down a little bit. Now, I don't know if that's going to affect it, seeing how we've already attached the cable or not. We might have to rebuild that. But at least we don't have to worry about any of that stuff, man. I know a couple times in last time I played, I ran one from here over that way. And, dude, I was, like, dodging the tulips over there and stuff. It was kind of cool. Neat little ride. But yeah, I'm thinking, man, seeing how it works like this with the anchors, maybe we'll just set the big parts up, like, away from the base, and we'll just do the wall anchors at base. That'll save us on a lot of room. Then we could have a ton of zip lines going to base. It'd be kind of neat. We'll have to see, man. That's something we'll do later on as we get more resources. we got to be able to kill the bees a little bit easier, though. But this at least works getting over here, as long as we don't hit our feet on the way in. It's not too slow. I mean, it's a little slow. It could be faster. All right, so that works there. And what I ended up doing here is this. So this goes all the way up. And then right here, I turned it so that I could climb up in here and have the other ladder. So it's a little bit cheaper than doing the bouncy trampolines. And here's this one. We should be able to finish making it. We can. Fantastic. And this will get us back to base. Probably just about the same speed. It seems a tiny bit faster. Now, these things can go very, very fast if you have them at a very steep angle. So that's the thing, man. The steeper the angle, the faster you go. But this, oh, dude, this is going to be a game changer, man. Well, not too bad of a day. We got our base pretty much decorated. I got to get some more parts. We'll slowly put up the different trophies on the walls as we get enough of the parts for that. We got our first zipline ran. It's, it's a little bad. I got to do some renovating on it, kind of get it sorted out. 
You can always do that off camera, add him some railings, a little bit of safety. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you like our new base build. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.